In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to take down Soaring Winds on normal difficulty. My EP is 240k with this team. This is the, if you have the space team so far, Rimuru, Ranga, and Charybdis, this is using the free Benimaru. And Milam is in here to change the souls just as Ranga is. I'm going to start with the space units in the rear guard in the back so I can swap into them for the most souls. This is a guide not using Alice to cheese the fight in case they patch that later on down the line. So as you can see, I accidentally had auto on, but turn one, he poisons and reduces yellow souls. That's why Milam is here. She can change yellows to blues. This is going to be a guide on how to defeat the Soaring Winds on normal difficulty. My EP is 240k using the Three Penny Maru and the Space Units, Ranga, Rimuru, and the Protection, uh, Charybdis. Uh, the Earth Melum is in here to change the souls. She changes yellow to blue. Soe and Ranga change yellow to green. The strategy in this fight is going to be to survive through the defense buff he gets on turn two. This is a very good hand. We are going to swap in Rimuru or Ilum. And just going to keep all our skill points for now. We want to use Rimuru, the last, the last souls, because it'll do extra damage. And if you don't know, on this fight, the boss takes an extra 20% damage from physical damage dealers. That's why my entire team, except for Ranga, is physical damage. Here, I want to swap in. Ilum or Soe and use her skill to change the yellows to blue, see if we can get a bigger combo. Turn one, he does go for the poison and that, it, it, it's okay, you can live through the damage, you don't need to worry about the poison too much, but turn two after I attack, you'll see he applies a defense reduction debuff to all your active units. And, but it, yeah, attack debuff, sorry, attack debuff. And he also gives himself this ridiculous guard rate in buff. So, with that guard rate buff, we have a couple ways to get through it and push damage. One of the ways is with Ranga. Ranga's skill, I'm going to change yellows to greens. Nice, we got both Rimuru's. And his second skill increases pierce rate and guard penetration for a turn. So this is going to be a decent enough turn. I'm going to want to use that. Nice, some good damage. After the fight, I'm going to show you the gear I'm using. So you can see I'm not using like top, top end gear. Because 
the boss still has his but his guard rate buff for three more turns. I'm gonna swap out of Rimuru. I want to use his uh, Rimuru's buff with using his ulti and potentially some other ultis as well. I'm gonna change yellow to blue here. That way we can keep our high combos going. Even though the boss has increased guard rate, they'll try and get off as much damage as possible. Looks like you always want to use Charybdis on cooldown if you have it. We're just going to use Benny Mark's um, increase crit rate and decrease defense. Five of his souls. Next turn, we're going to bring out Soe. Or Benny Maru. And we will be increasing defense by 22%. Boss is about to ult next turn. You want to always have an, a defense buff when the boss is about to, to ult. We're going to check one turn remaining on blues, two turns remaining on yellows. We're just going to knock out the yellows, and next turn, the blue souls will deal max normal damage. And our units survive. Now, we're going to swap out Soe. We don't want him to die. This is a pretty good hand, even without Benny Morrow's ulti, we are going to attack attack boost. Because this is a six combo. And there you have it. Now some things about the fight. If you don't get the the luck that I had this run, the boss does stun you and heal on turn 9. So if you turn 9, you're going to want to use Benny Maru's stun skill. That increases your stun evasion by 90%. The free Benny Morrow gives you stun uh, resistance with his second skill. So turn 9, the boss will stun all your units. You want to use this skill, make sure your units don't get stunned. And I'm going to show you the gear on my units now. Ilum. She has her her claw and her uh, cloak, the type ones, so she didn't really do much in this fight. Of course, the free Benny Maru, I still haven't maxed out his, his armor. As you can see, Soe has all all level 33 star gear, nothing special. Ranga, nothing special. I do have Rimuru's sword that I leveled up and the space armor, as well as a three star level 30 
uh, I believe this is the stun resistant band. That's that's the gear I have. So my EP was 240k. I'll go ahead and go out and try it. 